are the considerations as you think through getting rid of some investments? What do you bring on in its stead? We try to sell out to some of these companies who have large negative externalities, and we invest more in type of companies that have positive externalities. It's an ongoing dialogue. It's uh, not only sort of mapping where we are, but also seeing what kind of investment plans they have, what kind of risk management they have going forward. How do you look at your two bottom lines when you analyze companies to invest in. We made a decision from the get-go. We're not going to sacrifice financial return for a social impact. Now, 12 years later, we believe that this, the second bottom line enhances the first bottom line. We really uh, have paved the way for some of the massive investments that we're hearing about this week. When you're looking at all the different kinds of risks. Do you feel you have all the right tools? The way we're diversifying with basically buying 1% of everything out there, uh, a key risk aspect for us is just will the world economy develop in a sustainable fashion? The issue in, in this sector is that it's been 100 years since anything interesting has happened. We're all living with our grandfather's electricity system, so we don't rec recognize that the same kind of innovation that we've seen in phones and radio and computers uh, is happening now in energy, and it's about time. What do you think it's going to take to get institutional investors like yourself um, more engaged in these kinds of companies and in this sector? I think uh, it's clear that the market has already uh, put a quite high price on it. It's more a question of you don't really know which direction this will be going. One thing that um, we had talked about earlier that you mentioned was this idea that we don't yet have the sort of the next generation um, transformational energy companies, like there is no Google or Apple. Where do you think that kind of company might come from? I would argue that we, we have the, uh, the, the big names. Uh, I mean, certainly Elon Musk, I think, is, is as, as famous as, as Apple, you know, getting there. I don't think we're, have, we're going to have any shortage, and I, and I would argue that we've, we've already started. <laughs>